Hey, I'm Sharon from Strand Design, and today I'm going to show you how to bake bread in the Forno bread oven using the no knead method. The technique is really easy and the results are fantastic, so let's get started. The basic ingredients for the no knead method are flour, salt, yeast, and water. You can of course do any variation that you want, and today I'm going to make two different loaves, okay? So let's get started on that. I'm going to start by just putting the flour the yeast, whoop, the salt, and then I'm also going to add some whole grain teff, which I'm kind of obsessed with lately, and about a little less than half of a cup of chopped pecans. All you'll need to do is just using a whisk or a fork is mix the dry ingredients together thoroughly. And that just takes about a minute or a little less than that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And then you add the water. Pour it all in there. Using a spatula or a big spoon, you just need to mix the dough until everything's pretty wet. You don't have to over mix it. And that'll only take about 15, 20 seconds. Okay, and that's it. That's the end of the first step. All you have to do is cover it with some plastic wrap and just let it sit for about 18 to 24 hours. Here we are. It's about 20 hours later and the dough has almost tripled in size. And now it's time to take the dough out of the bowl and we're going to form it into two different loaves. In order to do that, first I need to flour my work surface because this is a very sticky dough. So I'm using a mixture of wheat and rice flour, which is the recommended recipe by Tartine. And I am going to just use a spatula to scoop the dough out of the bowl. And I want to be really careful to not tear the dough or let some of it get left behind. I want to keep it completely intact. So I'm just scooping it all out. Uh-oh, I'm missing my essential tool. <laughs> What's that? I need the cutter. <laughs> The dough scraper. Okay. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Using your uh, dough scraper or a knife, you can just cut the dough in half. And I'm doing this because I like to make two smaller sized loaves. I just like the size of bread better. So I've separated that into two little balls, and I'm going to do an initial envelope fold, where I fold one side and then I fold its opposite side, and then I fold the other opposite side and the other opposite side, and then I'm going to fold the bread once again over onto itself. And I kind of like to squeeze the seam closed. Add a little bit more flour to the work surface. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. There's all sorts of beautiful bubbles forming. Really nice. And now the other batch. So I'm going to fold it over. And then the opposite side. And the adjacent side. Opposite side. And then fold it over itself one more time. And then squeeze the seam shut. Make sure there's lots of flour. Okay. So that's the first forming. I'm going to cover it back up with some plastic wrap. And I'm going to let this sit for about an hour. And it's a really good time to start the preheating of the oven and put the forno into the oven. We usually bake our bread at around 485 degrees and up to 500. And today we'll preheat the oven to 485. Place the forno in the oven with the hatch to one side and let it come up to temperature.
Now that the loaves have risen for an hour to an hour and a half, it's time to transfer them onto the peel. And you're going to sprinkle, quite liberally, the surface of the peel with the wheat bran. Once you've got that nicely covered, you're going to set the peel down on your work surface and roll the loaf onto the peel. Get it positioned in the center. Move it back and forth a little bit to make sure that you're getting some good movement on the peel. Set it back down and using a knife or even better, using a razor blade, score the surface of the bread. You can make one big long slash or you can make three slashes. And this is functional as well as decorative. This actually allows the gases inside of the bread to rise up through those slashes and improve the rise of the bread. We're ready to put it in the forno. Are you kind of on the right side? Yeah, it's okay. Here's the fun part. Okay, we're gonna open the forno. Woo. Set the hatch aside. I'm gonna take the loaf out and rotate it. And now I'm gonna pop it back in the forno for about five to 10 more minutes so it can finish baking and get perfectly golden brown. It's been about five or six minutes so it's time to take the bread out of the forno. I'm going to take the peel, leaving it pretty horizontal, and just gently slide the peel back and forth to get the bread onto the peel, and transfer it onto the cooling rack. And that looks gorgeous. Nice.